Hi my lovely foodies today I'm going to show you a very very delicious maggi lasagna Lasagna is basically a baked Italian dish which is prepared with the layers of sheets of pasta vegetables and some white sauce and cheese in it but today I'll be showing you a quick version of it using our very own Indian masala maggi and as thanksgiving is coming up so this would be a perfect masterpiece for your table so let's get on to the recipe To prepare this yummy dish first up we'll prepare the basic white sauce for which in a saucepan over medium flame i am going to take 4 tablespoons of butter once the butter is nicely melted i am going to add in 4 tablespoons of maida that is all purpose flour and mix this over low flame keep doing this and mixing this over low flame only for about 3 to 4 minutes or until the rawness of the all purpose flour goes away and it should also change its color to slightly pale so this will take about 3 to 4 minutes make sure do not turn it very dark so keep the flame on low only so here i have taken the equal quantities of butter and the all purpose flour to make that perfect creamy white sauce so after about 4 minutes you can see it's slightly cooked the all purpose flour has changed its color now to this i am going to add in milk so keep adding the milk little at a time and mixing it all the while so that there are no lumps in it and continuously do this over low flame keep adding the milk and mixing it so here i'm adding 2 cups of milk after about 1 minute of cooking you can see this mixture has slightly thickened you can see this is how it looks and after mixing it i cooked it for almost 1 to 2 more minutes and it has got good thick pouring consistency and has coating consistency you can see the back of the spoon is nicely coated so this basic white sauce is ready to this i am going to add in some salt some black pepper powder some red chili flakes and the mixed herb seasoning and mix that as well so this is a creamy white sauce We'll keep this aside for now. We'll use this later for layering up. Next up in a pan, we'll prepare the tomato maggi masala. For which in a pan, I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. You can also use butter. Heat it over low to medium flame. And once it is heated, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of ginger garlic crushed. So today I'm using this freshly crushed ginger garlic. But if you want. You can also use finely chopped ginger garlic here for that perfect authentic flavor. Cook this for a while and after that I'm going to add in one onion which I've roughly chopped and cook this as well for about 2 to 3 minutes or until it turns slightly golden brown in color and tender. You can also add some finely chopped green chilies here if you like your maggi to be more spicy. The onions are nice and tender. We'll add in all the vegetables. So today I'm using some capsicums. So here I'm using different colored capsicum as it works really well for this recipe when you layer them. It looks really beautiful when you prepare lasagna. But if you don't have available, you can simply use only the green. And after the capsicums, I'm using some carrots, some chopped mushrooms, and some corns. You can use a variety of vegetables over here of your choice. Usually the authentic lasagna is prepared with many other vegetables like beans, baby corns, broccoli and spinach especially. But since we are incorporating this recipe with maggi, you can use any vegetables which you wish to or which you like with maggi. And if you want, you can also add some small pieces of boneless chicken here if you are a non-vegetarian. and that will also cook along with the vegetables here so this is done enough i cooked the vegetables for almost 2 minutes do not overcook the vegetables as we are going to cook it further i mean we are going to bake it further so after about 2 to 3 minutes i am going to add 1 cup of tomato puree so today i am using this ready made tomato puree but if you want you can use 2 to 3 chopped tomatoes also here for that chunky tomato flavor or you can also use the fresh tomato puree Cook this for about 3 to 4 minutes or until the tomatoes are slightly cooked and its rawness goes away. Next I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, some basil. I'm using the dry one, but if you have the fresh basil use that. Some red chili flakes, 
some oregano or mixed herb seasoning whichever you have available mix everything really well so this basic mixture is ready next i'm adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce and a teaspoon of sugar to balance out all the flavors we have used mix that as well and now we are adding 2 cups of water so today i'm going to use 3 packets of maggi that's the reason i'm using 2 cups of water we don't want our maggi to be very mushy and soft and when the water is nicely heated next i'm going to break the maggi in it so here i'm using about 3 packets of maggi i'm going to break roughly as we don't want very tiny pieces of maggi so just break it roughly now mix it slightly and then i'm going to add the masala sachet of the maggis and mix that as well now let it cook uncovered for about 3 to 4 minutes or until you feel the maggi is nicely cooked but do not turn the maggi too soft and mushy as we are going to cook it further i mean we are going to bake this in the oven also so you can keep your maggi slightly underdone but do not overcook it so after about 3 minutes i can feel this maggi is cooked enough look at this this maggi is nicely cooked it's not fully cooked but it's almost cooked it is quite separated and it has a lot of tomato juice and moisture in it which is required to make the layers so this maggi is also ready switch off the flame and keep it aside next here i've got this baking dish i'm going to slightly brush it with some butter all over first so that it doesn't stick at the bottom you can simply brush the sides also and then i'm going to layer it up with a thick layer of the prepared masala maggi you can see how beautiful and colorful this maggi is looking it's looking really mouth watering so just even it out a bit to make a first layer out of it you can put more or less as per your preference or depending on the baking dish you are using so this first layer of masala maggi is ready tomato masala maggi next i am going to put in the prepared white sauce so make another layer of white sauce and guys if your white sauce becomes too thick after resting you can add little warm water or milk to it to dilute it or if you want you can make the white sauce thinner first only so that it doesn't dry up faster spread that as well so the second layer of white sauce is ready and then i am going to sprinkle some grated cheese all over so today i am using some combination of the regular processed cheese so this is the regular processed cheese i am using and next i am going to sprinkle some mozzarella cheese all over and both the cheeses i am using of amul you can use any cheese of your choice and once this cheese is spread after this i'm going to repeat all the layers so again i'm going to spread some maggi spread it nicely and then another layer of white sauce spread that as well to make another thick or thin layer as per your preference and then again i am going to sprinkle some grated cheese some processed cheese and some mozzarella cheese all over So all the layers are ready. I'm going to sprinkle very little red chili flakes and oregano all over. So this is ready to be baked. We'll bake this in the preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the top it's slightly golden brown and the cheese is nicely melted and bubbly. After about 14 to 15 minutes let's open the door of the oven and check you can see the cheese is nicely melted and it's bubbling away and the top is also nicely baked with golden brown marks on it it's done enough we don't want to overcook this we'll remove it out you can see this it's nicely baked on all the sides has good golden brown marks it's neither over baked nor under baked Let it stand just for about 2 to 3 minutes before cutting it. 
it's looking quite presentable for any kind of gathering so now we'll cut and show you wow look at this lovely piece with all the different colored layers of vegetables maggi white sauce and cheese in it the cheese is also properly melted you can prepare this for any kind of gathering and it will be a masterpiece on your table so i'll just plate it up and i'll take a bite and see how is it it's too good that spicy masala maggi and the cheese nicely melted so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this recipe today as much i did in making it if yes then like share and subscribe to my channel for more such yummy and festive recipes i'll see you soon in my next video till then take care and happy thanksgiving